Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the Large Hadron Collider, otherwise known as the LHC. So let's get started. Now, in the previous theory videos, we've seen the four main types of particle accelerators, cathode ray tubes, linear accelerators, cyclotrons, and synchrotrons. And the Large Hadron Collider at CERN can make use of these. So it says a number of accelerators may be joined together in sequence to allow particle beams to reach excessively higher energies, as in the accelerator complex at CERN. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN is the world's largest scientific instrument. It is a particle accelerator used by physicists to study the smallest known particles, which are the fundamental building blocks of all things. At CERN, two beams of subatomic particles called hadrons, either protons or lead ions, travel in opposite directions inside a 27km circular accelerator about 100 metres underground, gaining energy with every lap. The particles complete over 10,000 laps every second, which is pretty impressive. It then says that by colliding the two hadron beams head-on at very high energies, physicists are able to create new particles and even recreate the conditions that are believed to have occurred just after the Big Bang. Teams of physicists from around the world then analyse the particles created in the collisions using special detectors. So the debris and all those particles created from the collisions of particles are studied and analysed. Now this picture here shows a result of collisions between particles at CERN where the yellow lines represent the paths of particles and all the other colours like the red and blue dots represent particles that have been produced in the collision. And it's up to the scientists to delve deep into the data to see if there are any new particles that have been produced. It then says that the LHC is not only the largest particle accelerator in the world, but is also the coldest and emptiest place in the universe. In order to function properly, it requires powerful superconducting magnets that need to be cooled to a temperature lower than outer space, about 1.9 Kelvin, while space is about 2.7 Kelvin, and that's the average temperature of space. So there are parts which are much hotter, but on average it's pretty cold. But we're seeing the Large Hadron Collider is even colder by just under 1 Kelvin, which is equivalent to a temperature of about 1 degree Celsius lower. It then says despite this, when the particles are collided, they create temperatures which are more than 100,000 times hotter than the Sun. In order to analyse more than 600 million particle collisions every second, they have also had to create the world's most powerful supercomputing centre. The LHC project was created in a bid to answer some of the most fundamental questions in science, including how was the universe created, what is mass and what causes it, and when we do the standard model, we'll go on and talk about the Higgs boson, which was thought to give the answer to that second question of what is mass, and it was to do with something called the Higgs field, associated with the Higgs boson that was discovered. We also have why do some particles have no mass at all, is there a fifth, sixth or seventh dimension of time and space? What is 96% of the universe made of? So these are just some of the questions that the LHC set out to answer. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.